Hello and welcome to this snip where I'll show you how to monitor an Amazon S3 bucket for new files with PowerShell. We have some prerequisites we need, an AWS account, an IAM account with access key and secret, and also the PowerShell module, AWS PowerShell. If you're having problems or you're not too sure how to install a module, there is a snip available called Installing a Module from the PowerShell Gallery. So we'll move on and we'll work our way through this short, simple script, which we'll use to generate an HTML report. So we start with four parameters. We need to pass this to S3. So it's the bucket, the region, the access, and the secret. That's the four parameters we've built up. You'll see here, this is the actual command line that we'll execute, which will be S3.ps1 with those four parameters. So moving down the script, we've defined a header. So this is a, a CSS style sheet. So this will make the report look nice. Then onto the main body of the code, we are looking hash table with those four parameters that we'll pass into that hash table. We define a variable of five, we define five minutes, and then we pass in get dash s3 object with those parameters, gather all the files basically in that bucket into the files variable. We define two arrays, new files and old files. Then we iterate our way through this collection. So we're looking for files that are not older than five minutes. Those files will be added into the new files array. Anything else will be added into the old files array. And to bring this all together, we'll create two fragments, two HTML fragments. In the first fragment, we'll gather all the old files. All we want in this is the bucket name, the key, last modified, and the size. So we use convert to HTML to give this a title of existing files in S3 bucket. And then we pass it the bucket name and today's time and date. That's all held in the first fragment. In the second fragment, we're looking for the new files. Again, it's the same piece of code, except the title this time is files added to the S3 bucket in the last five minutes. So we use convert to HTML again to bring it all together. So the header is out of the, the style sheet that we've defined. The post content is the two fragments and the pre content, which will be the title for our web page is S3 bucket monitor. Then we output that to an HTML file. So let's go ahead and execute that. Before we can do that, we need to create some test data. This routine basically picks up five files that I've got and writes them to the bucket I've got, which is called TechSnip-S3. So we'll go ahead and run this. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll show you first. We go into S3 and you'll see my TechSnip bucket in there and you'll see even if I hit refresh there's nothing in there at the moment. So we'll go ahead and run this code. Now if we go back to the, my bucket, hit refresh and there you see five files. So now we'll run the script itself and then let's have a look at the output. And there you go, there's the S3 bucket monitor. So you won't see anything in existing files because we've only just added five files. But let's wait five minutes and we can prove that this is all working correctly. So we're going to run this code again, now that the files are older than five minutes. And there you see those five files are now in the existing files, and we've not added any new files in the last five minutes. Thank you for watching this snip.